this is my office. Th this is my office, I guess. Uh, and this is my cubicle. I guess there was a commercial on television, so this is my cubicle. This is my office. Well, this is this is where I I like to be. I. Fiddleheading in the area is, is one of the good, good diet, uh, good diet products that we we can put out there through our community forest. Um, there are lots of other things that that we can get into for mushrooms and and uh, there's ground hemlock and a lot of other things that we can get into. But for fiddleheading alone, which I'm uh, involved in myself quite a bit, it would it would uh, the publicity I believe of of getting it out there and what kind of a product we have, um, it, it would it would help my business tremendously. This is uh, this is what we call a fiddlehead. They're uh, they're an ostrich fern. They're edible. They grow here along the banks of the. Uh, well, we're on the Miramichi right now, of course, but uh, they grow on a lot of of uh, river beds and in in the province of New Brunswick in northern Maine, Quebec. But uh, we like to think their Miramichi fiddleheads are the best in the world. We want to get them when they're a, a nice tight curl like this this is when they're uh you know the the best they're a nice little delicacy they're normally grown uh, mid uh, mid may to early june here in this particular area here on, on the miramichi um it is a short season probably two to three weeks at the max depending on on the weather i, I have a hard job standing here talking and not picking them because i love to pick them and i love to eat them there are several ways to, to eat them, uh, the most common for around here, we like to uh, we like to boil them and, and or steam them, and put uh, vinegar and butter and a little bit of salt on them, or however much you like, I guess. The fiddleheads are, are are a natural a natural crop. They grow here in the wild, um, and it's, a, it's a quite a little uh, quite a little boost in our inner area for in the economy in, in the spring of the year. Uh, we we uh, pick a lot and, and ship them uh, ship them actually Canadian wide right now. Um, I ship some to uh, to Edmonton, Alberta each year. We ship to Quebec, um, down to Boston. Um, I do uh, ship to Peach Fruitique in Halifax. So uh, the Miramichi fiddleheads are getting getting out and about.
the door. It's coming through here. We have it tested every year uh, to make sure it's uh, good water, good clean water. And uh, it comes in, it's fed by a four inch uh, pipe. I run it up the brook, it looks 750 feet. Um, and this is all gravity fed, uh, that you see here. Seventeen years I've been in the fiddlehead business plus. Um, I know I've picked all of my life, but really as far as trying to market, I've uh, I've been in the fiddlehead business for about 17 years. And uh, one of my first clients, which is still a client today, is the, uh, is the uh, Vanier Co-op. They was one of my first clients back a, a number of years ago, and uh, we're still working hand in hand today. So the Miramichi fiddleheads, they love them. and. Uh, they keep buying them, so I'm going to keep selling them. Good community forest. Um, it would be not just helpful for uh, for our community, like for example, like as far as fiddleheads, um, if we could, uh, people knew how to collect them properly, um, and that's the same with the ground hemlock and the mushrooms. Um, with the community forest, we could put all these things into play, where we could uh, could harvest it properly without without really damaging any of the crop. When we all get together, put our ideas together, and and we can come up with with a good year-round uh, sustainable way of, of working out in in the uh, forest area. You know, we want to make sure that our, our forest stays healthy, and and I believe a, a good managed. Uh, Community forest would would ensure that that we we stay uh, we stay on top of things and 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 make sure that we're not uh, we're not cross contaminating anything not just for the fiddleheads but for all the the, the other variety of, of of natural products that we have here in, in our area. The Miramichi River so far as it stands right now there's there's absolutely nothing you know for for contamination and we do want to keep it that way and. Uh, you know, because that will that will ensure that we have a, a good, safe, and healthy product. There's a lot of mushrooms in the area that are available. I would I would love to expand into that, um, and you know whatever else we could do to you know to help out uh, in the community. It would be it would be I know uh, the community members would would appreciate some extra work, and uh, and uh, I wouldn't mind. Uh, I'd love to be able to provide it for them. With a community forest, we could we could join together as a community, and uh, and and do this, um, do it and do it properly, and it would sustain for for years and years to come for our, our children and children's children. So yeah, a community forest I believe would be would be a great asset to this particular area because we have it's just vast what you could do with with a community forest.